That was Lucy Thomas singing the version of Hallelujah. And we have that because of the religious box of cards I found. Once again, I'm putting the disclaimer out there. I'm not shitting on religion. I support all religions. Uh, freedom of religion. But I've never opened a box of cards or any type of sports cards related things before where there was religious stuff on it. So that's why we're doing it. So fuck off if you think I'm doing it. God damn it. Uh, beautiful sounding version. Um, I would cry if I wasn't a robot set back from the future to be a sex machine because uh, I am a robot. So, <laughs> Okay, before we do this, let's get to the contest because I was starting to worry that absolutely nobody cared. I, think, I don't think most people care, but we've had three guesses. Uh, three guesses, three wrong, terrible, awful guesses, big son. <laughs> Who else guessed? Um, um, lucky, lucky. Stash is, Stash is a smart guy. Stash is a smart guy. So, the three guesses were Craig T. Nelson. That would have been kind of clever had I used... Uh, the most, I consider the most famous Craig celebrity out there. Um, it's not Craig T. Nelson. Uh, it's not George Clooney from Big Sun. And it's not John Lithgow, the guest by Stash. So the new clue, the last clue was has done Broadway. The new clue is... Knock on wood. Okay, so that makes it a TV and movie actor, not Tom Cruise, not Bigfoot. They're still alive. They're not a former professional athlete. They've done a lot of charity work, a little on the older side, in my opinion. The, f the first uh, riddle clue, one plus two equals a lot of information. Uh, not Candace Bergen, has darker hair, has been on Broadway, and now, knock on wood. Okay, another cryptic clue. Let's get to this, man. Let's get to this. I've been waiting to open this for a long time. I was ready to go out to the car and open it because if I liked it, I was going to go run in and get more, but I just want to spend an extra 20 bucks. Okay, we're going to slow play the shit out of this. Okay. It's in a top loader. It's uh, not, a, I mean, a team bag thing. There's appears to be a top loaded card and something else in a team loaded bag. Is this worth twenty dollars? God damn it! Sorry for the language. Okay, let's do this. How can we slow play this even more? Okay, is it coming from the side? I'm just gonna have to. Oh, it's, it's a bunch of cards, I think. Well, hold on. I don't want to show the top loaded card here, so we're gonna open this up. I just hope somebody wasn't using the religious stuff to get certain people in to buy it and have it not be worth it anywhere close to um, this again, anywhere close to 20 bucks. That would be uh, disheartening. Okay, so I got that out. I'm gonna take the top loaded card out or the non top coat. We have a top loaded card underneath. This is a $20 mystery pack. We have a Sixto, San Sixto Sanchez on back. Okay, Craig can't open stuff. You already knew that. Okay. Okay, we have a talent pipeline. And Bobby Dalbeck, shout out to Chris Weaver, Dave Durango. First cards of Bobby Dalback. We knew it. We knew it already. Uh, a Jordan Basovicikovich. A Isan Diaz. So this isn't good. These are just failed. These are just failed prospects. Trent Grisham. Hey, there's a Rizzo. Shout out to Dallas. Anthony Rizzo. Josh Donaldson base. A they ain't giving me their Red Sox. Uh, there is a Matt Moore and then a Sixto Sanchez. Diamond King. That's a weird look at Diamond King. It looks like it's miscut, too. 
So, we got about 25 cents in cards so far. Awesome. Very awesome. No disrespect to Sixto Sanchez. I don't know if he's having a good year or not, so let's get ready. It is one card in a top loader. This is what we've all been waiting for. So tops now. Oh, that's an autograph of Telvin Nash. How old is this card? Hold on real quick. Can't tell my my vision's shot. Let's see here. Focus. I can't tell. Let's get the top loader on front. Houston Astros. Telvin Nash. It looks like it's an older guy. How embarrassing. This is... I'm fucking pissed. $20 for a, a 25 cent, 50 cent old autograph of nobody you've ever heard of in 25 cent more in cards. And playing off a religious aspect to get someone to buy it. Uh, I have to look to see how old that is. Let me see if I can see real quick here in the light. Sorry. My vision's not good. Still can't see. We're getting the magnifying glass out. Which sucks. It's it looks like it's 2002, maybe? Telvin Nash. Looks like a short little toad. Okay, that's embarrassing. Embarrassing. I'm pretty sure it's the um, guy who owned the shop. But Okay, we got a little extra time. I'm speaking of more bad stuff. Let's open these here real quick. These were the uh, Shields 25 card surprise pack with the Juan Soto on top. I would be surprised if there's much more than the Juan Soto. So let's see what's in these. Okay, Juan Soto. Ooh, and Aaron Cunningham. Thanks. Matt Moore, Khalil Green. At least they're different cards. Hey, there's a Mike. A Mike Piazza. A different Mike Piazza pitching? Hey, we got the pitcher, Mike Piazza. I didn't know this person existed. Tim Olson. There's an Andrew Vaughn rookie card. That's not bad. Joba Chamberlain. At least it looks like they're trying in this. Tony Watson. Teoscar Hernandez. Roy Halladay. Good, pl good player. Akoji Uehara. Oh, Jared Sandberg. The most dreaded of the Sandbergs. Troy Glaus. Jerome, J. Rome Dye. Felipe. Ah, they, my vision just shot. Someone early for me here. Shea Hillenbrand and Jay Payton. It's uh, other than no autographs in it, it's better than another thing. Let's look at the football. I bought this because uh, Chris Weaver is a fan of Peyton Manning, and there's a couple of these. There's also like a cheap Tom Brady scorecard on a couple of fronts, but I just got this one. I bought a box of, um, a blaster box of 2023 score football at Target, just to open. I don't know if this is 2023, I don't think so, but. Jeb Pulitzer. Not too impressed with this pack so far. Bunch of shit. James Conner, who I'm looking as a strong draft pick in this upcoming year's draft. Michael Crabtree was okay. Malcolm Butler is a good player. Pitta was a decent 
Ooh, the, the run of tight ends just hit us. Yeah, okay. I knew what I was getting into with these. But I didn't know what I was getting into with these. So, yeah, I got to uh, turn on the light and get my phone and see how old this Telvin Nash rookie card is. Um, is that a real... Oh, no, it is a religious... <laughs> I, it didn't hit me at first. Is that a religious thing on there with the religious box? Oh, not, not nothing against religion, man. I just want my 20 bucks back. Okay, well, so th thank you from a very disappointed Craig. Read the clues. I think we're getting closer. I think someone's going to figure it out soon. Thank you very much, and I'll talk to you later.